Well, as our weather heats up, thousands of kids across the region will be jumping in lakes and backyard pools. But experts say in order to keep your kids safe this summer, keep a close eye on them. On average, 10 people die every day from drowning and non-boating related accidents in the U.S. Valley News Team's Neil Carlson shows us what you need to know to keep your kids safe this summer. At the ripe old age of 23, UND swimming coach and lifeguard Allison Maxwell says she's already saved more than 10 people from drowning. She says kids can get in trouble very fast. Less than two seconds, depending on what they're doing. If you're not there. If you're not there, you got me. Statistics show that 80% of people who die from drowning are male, and children ages 1 to 4 have the highest drowning rates. Using your new above-ground backyard pool as a babysitter this summer could spell disaster. A lot of parents now these days, you know, just kind of leave their kids, not really supervising and everything like that. So I definitely, as a lifeguard, and as many lifeguards can speak, Definitely have supervision over your kids. And Maxwell strongly suggests that all parents get their children swimming lessons. It could save their life tomorrow, next month, or 20 years from now. Whether someday you end up falling in the lake or whatever, you know what to do. Exactly, or tripping in a pool or um, slipping on the pool deck and you actually yeah. slipped in the pool and you didn't know how to swim. And Maxwell says the warning signs of drowning aren't always yelling and waving arms. Sometimes people simply go silent and go under. The general rule in all this is constant supervision around the water. If you can't see them, you can't save them. In Grand Forks, Neil Carlson, Valley News Live. Experts also caution that you shouldn't allow children to supervise other children. You're also advised to know how to perform CPR in case anything happens. Well, still